Okay, part four. I didn't know this was going to take so long. Okay. Star seeds are people seeded in stars from other systems. In this galaxy and beyond, they came here in Lemuria, incarnated and traveled in waves. The heroes and leaders and outspoken ones who died for a cause, they changed DNA from within. Okay, so star seeds. I, I, I think star seeds perhaps are wanderers, way showers, hippies. They were the one, so back in the day when this world was a one world, the way it is now, back more than 13,000 years ago before the end of the Ice Age, Lemuria, which was Hawaii, as a larger island. Um, that's where the hippies were. And they were people from other star systems. People who came here, I guess, to came, come and help the Earth and bring the Earth up and evolve. Um, but then the, uh, the Atlanteans, that's when the Orions were, the people who were reincarnated from Mars. And so it's different. Um, they travel in waves, so they reincarnate here in like soul groups. And they're the heroes and leaders and outspoken ones who died for a cause. So those are the visionaries, the people who were uh, ahead of their time. Jesus, um, um, you know, maybe in all of those important ages, the great teachers like Confucius, Lao Tzu, Buddha in that age, Plato and Socrates, especially Socrates. And Aristotle, the, all of those guys lived at the same time. And then in the 15th century, 1500s, there was um, Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo. I don't know. I'm just, or maybe people who were even more heroic than that, people who died. Um, a man for all seasons, Thomas Aquinas. I don't know. So, anyways, um, and they changed DNA from within. So maybe those people have children since they were so in tune with their higher self they actually changed their DNA by changing their minds. And when they had children, the DNA that they created children with was changed, was actually metamorphosed by them. And their children were born already with the DNA of a higher human being. If that's what they're saying. Okay. We fell from God to learn to create. So yeah, we fell from God. We our spirits came down here to the earth so that we could come to the, where time slows down um, and everything is solid so that we could learn to create from matter and learn to create whatever we want and, you know, from a ground up experience. So it wasn't like an accident we come here. We came here because we wanted to. We just want like the challenge. Okay. Lemurians live a cyclic life in tune with the earth. They taught metallurgy, crops, Craft, pottery, ceras, maybe they mean, I mean ceramic. My spelling isn't so good with this. Mining, logging, solstices and equinoxes were important to them. Ceremony and ritual. So the Lemurians, well, that sounds very hippie to me. The Lemurians were the hippies. They came down here, live a cyclic in tune with the earth. So they were out there outside looking at the moon and, you know, having moon rituals and moon dance. A bunch of rainbow gatherings back then in the day on Lemuria. Solstices and equinoxes were important. They would they would um, honor the shortest and largest, longest day and such. Okay. Found in Abos and Kalahari Bushmen break up 80 to 90,000 years ago. Okay. Found in the Aborigines and Kalahari Bushmen. Okay. So this is an incomplete sentence. Maybe I may, maybe like um, um, the break, the breakup of the old races from the one race, you know, the tower of Babel, when we all spoke one world, one language, maybe we all had one race and then all the race became many races because, you know, that whole civilization crashed and we all people got stuck in the same place in the world and, uh, the different races were created. Well, that happened 80 to 90,000 years ago. And I guess the Aborigines and Kalahari Bushmen. Kalahari is uh, the desert in um, somewhere in, like Middle Africa or something. Um, anyways, that's an incomplete sentence. So that's my best guess on that. Seven rays and seven purposes. So there's seven different colors, perhaps, or rays, or different dimensional energies that come to us. And each one has a different purpose for us. Okay. Nature worship 
comes from Sirius, great Syrian teachers. Okay, so nature worship. Living at one with the nature, being a hunter-gatherer, or, you know, or, or just learning how to till the soil and just being at one with the earth, the earth to experience this world that way, as opposed to being separated from it. That's from what the Sirius taught us, the Syrians taught us. And some great Syrian teachers, so people who reincarnated from Sirius to come down here and to be a human and use their spiritual development to teach were Zadok, never heard of him, Melchizedek, I think he was talked about in the Bible, Hermes, he was um, the messenger god from Greece, and before that, in, in, in the uh, Egyptian mythology, he was, I think he was Thoth, um, Merlin, we know him, Jesus, Zarathustra, I think he's a Middle Eastern uh, teacher from maybe 500 BC or something like that, Apollonius, I think that was a historian from like Rome or something, or Greece. Osiris, the Greek god. Akhenaten, Ek Akhenaten, the Egyptian, um, the Egyptian pharaoh. Akhenaten was an interesting character. He uh, he was in kind of the early days of Egypt, of the golden age of Egypt, and Egypt was a um, a poly. Um, polytheistic society, all the different people had their different gods who they prayed to. And he tried to, he tried to say, no, there's one God, forget up all those different gods. Let's all pray to one God so that we can all kind of be one happy family that way. And they did that. And then he died and they didn't take to it. And they all went back to being polytheistic again. Um, Solomon tried to do that to have one. Um, well, actually no, Solomon was allowing there to be lots of different gods. He was polytheistic because he thought it would help promote trade and stuff. Anyways, um, okay, so we traveled through many galaxies. So not only have we lived in other star systems, we have lived in other galaxies. We travel all over the place. Okay, last four to five years, we have been awaking mystery schools. Okay, so I read this in 98. I don't know when the book was published, maybe the early 90s or something, but so for the last four to five years before that, so maybe since 94, since the beginning of our mutation as a human species, we have been awaking also the mystery schools. So like Egypt, we've been learning new information from Egypt, Atlantis, Lemuria, Tibet, India, the Andes, Mount Shasta, and Yucatan. All righty. So we fell to learn to master matter. So that's why we came and came to, from God to come down to earth is to master matter. Yeah. From ground up. Okay. Nephilim. She has stuff to say about the Nephilim. Mesopotamia. Now, maybe this is actually not from that book, but I think it is. I think I would have put it all on the same page. So Nephilim. Mesopotamia, Eagle Man, 3000 BC. So the Eagle Man was a Nephilim that they found for 3000 BC was a Nephilim. Okay, Genesis chapter 11, 5,500. Okay, the Tower of Babel was for spaceships. The Tower of Babel was a launching pad for spaceships to go to Mars or something. Yahweh said no and confused them. So Yahweh is the God of the Old Testament, but actually Yahweh is a certain, is, is a certain alien. That's his name. I don't know what, where he was from. Maybe he was an Orion or an Anunnaki. But he said... He said, okay, take down this Tower of Babel, and, or, or maybe he was the guy who who didn't allow us to all speak the same language or something. Anyways, I wish that was more complete sense. Okay, Shabbat is from 3800 BC. Chenya, okay. Temple disc, 150 years ago. We found a temple disc. I don't know. Inanna Ishtar Tal. With snake, symbol of science, DNA manipulation, astronaut. Okay. Seal with accurate solar system and another planet. Oh, this is just stuff they found in the Middle East. They found a seal with an actual depiction of a solar system. Um, in this solar system with all the nine planets that we didn't know about them until recently. And another planet on there that we don't know about, Planet X. Uranus described it as bright greenish. So Planet X is bright greenish. Explained tilt. So maybe the Planet X created the tilt on the Earth. Crash mark on Miranda Moon. There's a crash mark. The crash mark on the Miranda moon. I don't know where that moon is, but 
That's from uh, one time that Marduk or Planet X came by and maybe one of its moons crashed into it. I don't know. Neptune is a marine planet, so maybe there's water on there and there's there's fish on there. Mars is the god of war. Key is Earth, so Key is the Earth energy. I guess okay. Seventh planet, seven days, seven seven days tablets sacred. Okay. Seventh planet, so. Who's the seventh planet? I guess it's... Okay. Twelve planets, Marduk. I guess it's the twelfth planet. Pluto was discovered in 1930. Oh, man, these are just jumbledy fucking notes. Um, tablet of creation four billion years ago. So there's a tablets of in the Middle East that were created, and they say that we were created four billion years ago. Nibiru hit Tiamat three, in a, one of its 3,600-year cycle. So maybe Tiamat is, is another name for Marduk or Maldek. Water every, there's water everywhere in the solar system. Um, Genesis says that there's water above in the firmament. So, yeah, there's water everywhere in the universe, actually. Comet numbers, okay, from, from, the, from the Bible chapter, numbers 2417. Um, Halley's Comet, water above the firmament. So they talk about that, I guess. Canals on Mars and water riverbeds below firmament. So there's riverbeds under Mars. Genes in Genesis, life came from comets, meteors with DNA encoded in them. That's what scientists actually think of where life came from. Ne neuropeptides and amino acids are common. They're all over the universe. Deliberately go out and be fruitful and multiply meant, well, that's how life is sp spread through comets. The Anunnaki from come from Nibiru. They came 445,000 years ago. And they used robots to scout through the universe. 300,000 years ago, man created glass tubes. I don't know what that means. Tower of Babel was used to go to Mars. Okay. There's an Inca city on Mars. So I guess whoever created the Inca civilization were the ones who created the city on Mars. They came to Earth from Mars. Job and Amos chapters are about the 12th planet. Okay. I don't know if that came from Wendy Monroe. But it was just notes that I had there. So, hmm. so that's the book from Wendy Monroe, and the book is called, um, just a second, the book is called Transmissions from Sirius, Journey into the New Millennium. So, uh, does that make me crazy? Does that make me sound crazy enough? Okay, see you later.